Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Gator Lending 3.0. We've got a couple of changes um, for multiple reasons. And um, I have never had to ex like work on so much patience in my life. It is so hard. Um, it is so hard. Um, let, me, let me give you guys a, a little quick analogy, okay? A, a quick analogy. If you are a lifeguard standing on the beach and there are two people drowning in the ocean, which one do you save first? If you're a lifeguard on the beach, two people are drowning, which one do you save first? Well, the added detail to the story is that one person is swimming away from you and the other person is swimming towards you. Which one do you save first? The person who's actually making your job a little bit easier. Okay. This is why I choose to work with action takers. This is why I choose to um, fight so hard for people that have filtered through and shown people that, look, I'm swimming towards you. I'm going to try and make your job easier. I'm going to try and help you out. What I've learned in the last couple of months with this Gator tribe is that typically with like my sub two community, there's a lot of people that are, in, that are in the Gator tribe that are not my sub two students. Guys, I'm telling you, there's a massive difference between my sub two students and the general public. They are where we filter through and we find action takers, go givers, people who are leaders and people who really are resourceful in the sense that when there's a resource out there, they go out and find it. They don't have to be spoon fed every little thing. And so what's happening right now is that there are people, uh, some people in here that literally just figured out what Gator Lending was in the last couple of days. Some people in here just learned about me a week ago. And although I have been doing a tremendous amount of free training for everybody, um, and I've been desperately like trying to get my megaphone as loud as possible, sit, tell everybody, hey, I'm closing the door, I'm closing the door, I'm closing the door. I have people that are coming to me in the last couple of days saying, one, where's the link? I signed up for PCS and I can't find the link. Guys, you got the link. I, I can't tell you. Okay. I can't tell you how many people are telling me I don't know where the link is. And I, I verified that it's been sent out. Okay. I can't tell you how many people are, are calling me and saying, dude, please let me in. I just found out about you three days ago. And the go giver in me, the person who's trying to give and give and give and give is like one last chance, one last call, one last this, one last that. And what's happening is the people who have taken action are sitting there saying, Pace, I'm swimming towards the, I'm swimming towards shore. Come save me first. I'm, I'm, I'm using my resources. I'm trying to make your job easier. And then the people, the, there's other people, a large group of people are swimming away from shore and making my life harder. It is really, really hard. And so, um, I am going to be doing something a little bit different than what I planned today. Today is May 1st, 2022. Something a little bit different. Okay. So like John McCormick, Hey guys, please don't send me private messages. Please don't ever send me a private message. Just put it in the group. Okay, please. Um, but uh, John McCormick just says, I learned about this training last night and I found a way to make it in guys. I'm not doing another free training. I'm done. Let me tell you what I've done so far. Okay. This is what I've done so far on, on the training. Okay. A couple of months ago, I brought in Amy, who is a professional educator for raising capital. And we did two hours on how to raise capital and she taught a lot. It was great. It was amazing. It's two hours. And in that, I then told the audience, I said, Hey guys, um, I hope that you guys got value from this. If you guys want me to do another four hours, I will do it. And that's what I did. The following week, I then went and did another four hours. So Amy did two hours with me. I then did a pace four hours all about raising private capital. And I did, that's where I talked about whales, sharks, guppies, swimmers, camels, and then gators. And I then got so many people asking me, how do I do gators that I did a gator training for two hours. Guys, this is all free. And I've been doing this for months. This is now close, probably close, closer to three months ago. 
Okay, this was probably closer to three months ago. I've been working so hard <laughs> trying to give this to you guys. I've been working so hard. Here I am on Sunday morning. I know you guys are here on Sunday morning. Um, but I'm the one that has taken 10 years out of my life to learn this stuff and go through hundreds of transactions and learn all the problems and issues so I can teach you guys how to prevent yourself from running through those and also go and just quickly go out and make money. Okay? So I then take... 10 years of all my experience and I condense it into just this training right here. Just this alone is something that I personally took 10 years of my life, okay? And also spent $25,000 roughly in raising private capital training. And I, I, there's educators that are influencer buddies of mine that have watched my, just my four hours. I had one of my buddies call me and goes, dude, just your four hour training that you did for free is actually deeper knowledge and easier on an elementary level for people to understand than my $25,000 course. He's like, I don't know what you're doing. He's like, you should be charging for this stuff. I didn't charge you guys for any of this stuff. Did anybody pay me for any of these, this time that I put into this? Did anybody pay me for this? Anybody? I have a thousand people in here. Did anybody pay me for this? Okay. So I then, here's, if that wasn't enough, I go, you know what? This is still not enough. I'm going to go do another Gator training. And I did another Gator training for three hours. And then not, on, not only that, but I did another Gator training for another three hours. And I put all this on my YouTube channel. Okay. So there's Yvette. She says, I won't be able to afford to pay for this. Well, Yvette, I'm doing this train. You don't need to pay for this. I just gave you all this. Every part of this is on my YouTube channel worth a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars of value. I've given it to you for free. So you're, I'm not charging you to be in here. You didn't pay me any money. PCS didn't pay me any money. Robert Beck says, dude, you don't need to explain yourself. Robert, I wish that was the case. I do need to explain myself because I got a negative comment in my Facebook group about, I thought this was only for action takers. Guys, you're right. Okay. So I appreciate you guys taking, you know, being patient. I'm getting to my ultimate point. We are packed out on Zoom at a thousand. Okay. So for any of you guys that are not able to get into the Zoom um, where we're going to actually, I'm going to actually answer a couple of questions today. Not a lot. So if you guys raise your hand, plan on not getting your hands. Um, oh yeah, it's full. Derek, hundred percent is full. Zoom is max out of a thousand. Okay. So if you guys have friends that are like, I'm trying to get in guys, send them the YouTube link. I am streaming this on YouTube as well. This will be my final free training. And for the people who have taken action, you will understand why I'm doing this one last time. One last time, please, guys, please, 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 please help me, please, help me, help me, help me. Okay, here is the, here is the uh, YouTube video right there. It's streaming right now. So for you that are here with me in Zoom, this will be the last free Zoom I do. This will be the last free um, YouTube Live I'm doing. I've done a combined after today. This will be my final training. I will, for people that are like, I didn't get in and I didn't have the money to pay for it. Guys, I'm doing another Gator training right now for probably one and a half hours right now, okay? This is all for free. I've given this all for you for free, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys a really cool gift today. Everybody that, whether you've taken action, you haven't taken action, I'm gonna give this all to you guys for free today, something very cool, okay? And for the people that are action takers, you will actually understand why I'm giving the, this to everybody for free when I get to it. So all of this, is this sufficient enough that I've given this much training for free? Has anybody ever, even paying for somebody else's mentorship, have you guys ever gotten this much value even when you've paid for it? Then please don't give me a hard time. Please. It may... When you throw vinegar on a bee, a bee wants to fly away. If you want to attract a bee or, hey, my wife is FaceTiming. If you want to attract a bee, you attract a bee with honey, not with vinegar. Hey, little mama, how you doing? I'm down in the studio. I'm doing a little gator, gator training. How are you doing? You miss me? 
I will come up there after I do some work, okay? I'm on I'm on a gator training right now, sweetheart. I love you. Bye. Sorry, guys. All right. So here we go. Here's what I'm going to give you. If you ever complain about me doing something for free, what I what I immediately will do, this is where my my patience has now been tested. You will be removed from my world. I'm too old. I'm nearly 40 years old. I have zero patience for people who are negative. If you have a negative, limited mindset, you have a you look for a reason to complain, goodbye. Go somewhere else. Go find somebody else that's negative that you want to vibe with. This is the greatest, most positive community on planet Earth. Either be a positive impact on it or go away and go complain to somebody else. I have already, if you look at the screen, I've given you three months of crazy. Nobody's even, first and foremost, the strategy that I'm teaching you guys on, nobody teaches it. It doesn't exist. I created it. These strategies that are happening, I created these strategies. The paperwork, I paid for the paperwork to be written. And we still have months and months and months of more paperwork to be created. I will probably spend close to 40, maybe $50,000 over the next six months drafting all the documents and recompiling them and paying um, salaries to people that are coming in and helping people in the Gator Tribe. And you've paid me nothing for it. If you have a single negative feeling in your body, check yourself. Because if you, if you express your negativity, you will be removed from my world. What's great about social media is I can block you. I can block, I can block you from Facebook. I can block you from Instagram. I can block you on my phone. I can block you on my email. You're, you're blocked. To me, you won't even exist. So if you have a negative feeling with all of the work and effort I've put into creating this and then spending money to give you value, check yourself. Do we all agree with that? Give me a yes. And then on top of it, for the people with the limited mindset of like, well, I took action. How dare these other people get value? Guys, check yourself again. Check yourself again. I always provide value, way more value to action takers than the non-action takers. I always do. For anybody that is in my sub two community and you've taken action in my mentorship, we are the only mentorship on planet Earth that is not limited. It's absolutely not limited. You are with me for your life. However, the contract you signed to come into my sub two community is a contract that says you only have six months with me. I've got students that have been with me for two years. Okay? It is the greatest community and I always provide a thousand times more value than you've ever provided me. And that is my job. My job is to be the biggest go-giver in real estate. But at some point, people will test me and people will be negative and you will be removed from my world. I spend zero time with hateful, negative people. Zero. All right. Mike says, Pace, when I was younger, I thought the world owed me something. Now I know it's up to me to make the most of what is made available. Guys, have you ever had an influencer, an educator, a YouTuber, uh, anybody in your life provide as much value as I do for free? I haven't. And this is why I provide it to you guys. Okay? All right, here we go. We are going to do some cool stuff today, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. Please pay attention. T please take notes because the other thing that I've ran into is that people will come to me and tell me, well, you said this, and then I go, go back and review the tape. I did not say that. You, you took what you thought I said, okay? All right. We're going to go through some stuff that you guys might already know so that I can make sure that the air is clear and you guys know where to find it. So if you're brand new to this, here's what I suggest you do, Okay. Here's some homework for you. Now, now the, the terse pace is gone and this is the regular pace. Okay, I'm back. Step one, here's what I would do. Um, number one, go to my YouTube. 
If you are not somebody who has taken action on prime corporate services, okay, I'm going to get to that in a little bit. If you've not taken action, go to my YouTube. It's I've, I've put it there for free, guys. It's free. Go there. If you don't have money, go there. I did this. I did this for you, okay? Zane Bischoff says, Pace, I found out about you seven days ago and I formed an LLC and a PCS client. Thank you for kicking me in action. Awesome, okay. Go to my YouTube. If you go to my YouTube, like right now, I'll, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Um, hold on a second. You just go to YouTube, okay? And you type in Gator Lending. Literally, if all you do is type in Gator Lending on YouTube, guess what pops up? Boom. Look at all this stuff I gave to you guys for free. If you are not going to be part of the Gator Tribe, here you go. You got it all right here. Two an, an hour right here, two and a half hours here. We're going to be posting a full four-hour video tomorrow, I believe, all about the, the first video I ever did with Amy. Okay? Those things are out there. So if you have a question of what is Gator Lending, I'm not going to break that down for you. Those videos are already out there. Please go watch those. Those are the first videos you should watch. And here, I'll tell you the videos you should watch in order. Number one, watch the four hours I did on raising capital. This is video number one, okay? Number two, go to Gator Lending 1.0 on YouTube. Okay, this is also on YouTube. And then number three, go to Gator 2.0 on YouTube. And these right here, just these three things are worth a million dollars if you take action on them, okay? So you don't have to be part of the, the live trainings. You don't have to do all that kind of stuff. You already have a tremendous amount of value here, okay? Please just go watch those. Don't be angry because you didn't get in. Don't send me hate DMs. Don't tell me how dare you, I'm new and I don't have money. I already gave you value that nobody else, I, I created these strategies from scratch. Nobody's ever taught about them, okay? Perfect. Does everybody know what you should go do? If, you, if you've just found about me two weeks ago, do you, we all know what we should go do. Okay, perfect. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do today, I'm going to do Gator 3.0. This is very different from what I was originally planning. Okay, I was originally planning with Gator 3.0, only doing this with people who have already taken action. But as you can see, this Zoom is full. My YouTube has another five, 600 people on it. So we've got combined 15, 1600 people watching this right now. Okay, so for some reason, you guys get bumped out of this Zoom. You guys can go over to my YouTube channel. I've already given you guys the link for the YouTube link. If you guys have friends that are saying, I want to get in, please, there's the YouTube link. Share that with them, okay? So today we're going to give you guys Gator 3.0. And what I'm going to give is I'm going to give two things, okay? To the people who have not gotten into the Gator trainings, the full live trainings, there's two paths that are going to happen. Please pay attention. I don't care if you're driving. I don't care if you're laying in bed. I don't care if you're sitting on the toilet right now. Please pay attention to this right now. I'm going to give you guys two free major bonuses right now. And if I hear anything but a thank you and appreciation, you, I, will, I, I will karate chop you. Okay, the people who are non, you're swimming away from me, right? You're making my life hard. I'm still going to give you a, ma a major gift. I'm going to give you the new wholesale contract today. This cost me $3,200 in legal fees to draft this new wholesale contract. It, nobody has this. Is not, it's just been refreshed. You guys will get it today. So I will put it on the YouTube link. I'll send it out to, out to everybody that's on the list. We have over 3,500 people on the list. Everybody will get this. And if you ever come back to me and tell me you didn't get the email, I will, I will prove to you. I will fly to your house and prove to you you are wrong. Okay? It will be in the YouTube um, description. The link to the Dropbox will be in the YouTube description. I'm gonna go through this wholesale contract today in the training, okay? So we're gonna teach you guys why this new wholesale contract was created. I'm giving this to everybody, everybody, whether you've taken action, you haven't taken action or not. Say, please say thank you. 
the the email that I the the you the Zoom training that I just did the other day. I did a Zoom training the other day with um, Sean St. Clair. That Zoom was about an hour and 20 minutes. We chopped it down to about 42 minutes and we released it to you guys. That Zoom alone cost me $700. When my attorney spends time with me, he charges me $475 an hour. $475 an hour. And I released that conversation behind the scenes to you guys. Okay. I then had him draft a new wholesale contract that will allow you as a wholesaler or somebody going out and getting deals to have protection because I'm going to train the gators to lend money to you only if you're using this contract. Listen to this. So this is why it's good for the people that are taking action because the people who are taking action, here's what's great about this. I I'm not just giving these people the wholesale contract. I'm also giving the action takers, not today, but I'm going to do another Zoom sometime this week with only the action takers where I will give you the protection paperwork. And the lending documents to only the action takers. Uh, Adrian Lama says, um, what would entail an action taker? So guys, here's what I'm doing Gator Lending. You guys have obviously, if you ask that question, it means you have not been watching the things I've been doing for the last couple of months. What we're doing is Gator Lending is a strategy to lend money to people and make a ton of money. So for example, last, just last week, let me give you guys a brief overview of what uh, Gator Lending is. There's five things I'm going to be teaching over the next six months in the Gator tribe. Okay, five things. Right now, we're just going to have a conversation about the first thing. I get people, wholesalers that come to me and they go, Pace, I need money for my earnest money. And I go, no problem. Well, I, let, me, let me back up. I'll give you guys a little bit of, of back history to this for anybody that did not watch the Zoom with Sean St. Clair. Where Gator Lending originally started was nearly 10, maybe a little bit longer than that years ago when I was just a contractor. I had I was a general contractor and I would hire painters and drywall guys and concrete guys and I would have them do work and whatever else. I had a, a painter named Ruben Dominguez. Ruben Dominguez would come to me and he'd say, hey, Pace, one of my other clients wrote me a check for $6,000 to cover my payroll, but their check won't clear until following Monday. I need to borrow $6,000 until Monday so I can pay my guys today on Friday, okay? Uh, Paul Leslie, do sub two students get access to Gator Lending? Only you do not get access. Just because you're a sub two student doesn't mean you get access to the live trainings. The sub two students only get access to the trainings two months after I do them. You'll get them two months after I do them. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. If you are a sub two student, I will give them to you. I will not put them in YouTube. I will not put them anywhere, but I will put them in the sub two vault two months after I record them. Okay. Are we all on the same are we all on the same page? That's fair? Or is that still amazing? Okay, thank you. So Ruben Dominguez comes to me and he goes, Hey Pace, I need six thousand dollars and I need to cover my payroll on Friday. I go, Okay, well, how much would you pay me in interest? He goes, Well, if I can hold that six thousand dollars until Monday, I'll pay you three thousand dollar return. So essentially paying me nine grand. $6,000 to cover my loan and $3,000 return. Guys, that's a 50% return in literally a weekend. That's $3,000. And I'm like, damn, all right. So that's Gator Lending, okay? That's Gator Lending, helping, bringing a resource to people, not charging interest, but taking a chunk, right? Chomp, 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 chomp. Gator Lending, taking a chunk. So I did this for probably a good year with Ruben and then Ruben got on his feet and I would make sometimes three grand in a weekend, five grand in a weekend. I'm like, dude, this is amazing. In fact, I paid for my wedding. I paid for my wedding with part of this, okay? So anyway, I stopped, obviously I wasn't a real estate investor 11, 12 years ago. So I was just doing Gator Lending without ever it being called Gator Lending. I just made that name up 90 days ago, okay? I made that up 90 days ago, but I'd been doing it for 11 years. Then when I got into real estate, I started getting wholesalers coming to me and saying, Pace, I don't have earnest money for a transaction. Does anybody not know what earnest money is? Earnest money is when you get into a contract with the seller, right? You and the seller get into a contract. 
the contract is going to show. In fact, I could pull it up today, right now. I could pull it up on the document I'm going to give you guys. Um, interesting. So annoying. Hold on a second. Joel Jurgard, um, Joel, I'm going to see you. I will see you probably. Oh, hold on a second. Let me see here. All right, cool. So what would happen? is um, when you get into a contract with a, with a seller, the seller is going to ask you guys to put $100 down to show that you're serious about their transaction. Sometimes 1000 sometimes 5000 and sometimes $10,000 to show that you're serious. So what happens is you take that contract, right? One of these contracts, and you go to a title company. You go, hey, title company, I'm starting this transaction with a homeowner. I now am in escrow. I've started the transaction. Well, on that contract, it's going to show how much you have is earnest money. So I started getting wholesalers coming to me and saying, hey, um, I don't have $1,000 to open up escrow. And the seller is wondering where my $1,000 is and I don't have that $1,000. So I started loaning $1,000 to wholesalers and they would then pay me. They would pay me $3,000, $5,000, depending on the transaction. And I'm like, man, I literally loaned $1,000 on a trans a real estate deal. I didn't find the deal. I didn't find the buyer. All I did was fund the $1,000 earnest money, and I got $3,000 in return. Literally tripling my money in like a five-day period. So that's Gator Lending. That's, part, that's one of the five things I'm going to teach on Gator Lending, one of the five things. Then you get people that also come to you and they go, Pace, um, and by the way, for anybody that doesn't understand this about wholesale, wholesale in the next five, maybe seven years, Wholesale will be outlawed nationwide. Arizona just passed a law that stated you have to let your seller know, okay? You have to let your seller know that you are wholesaling their property. So what's that gonna do to wholesalers? It's going to force them to purchase the property and then double close or sell that property like 12 hours later. So last week, I had somebody in the Gator community come to me and go, Pace, I need 24 grand. I go, why do you need 24 grand? And they said, well, because I have, a, I have five lots that I have under contract with the seller. I don't want the seller to know how much money I'm making. And I have a buyer that's going to buy four lots from me. Okay. So the seller is selling me five lots at 24 grand. I need to close escrow on that deal, own those five lots for an hour. And then I can turn around and then sell those five, sell four of those lots, keeping one to myself for 50 grand. And so that's what he went and did. So he made $26,000 plus kept a piece of land in the process. He got a free piece of land and $26,000 wholesaling. He didn't wholesale, he actually double closed. He used my 24 grand to close his transaction with the seller and then turn around and sold that again to somebody else at 50 grand, okay? So I go, great, how much can I make for my $24,000? And guys, where did I get my $24,000? Where did I get my $24,000? From my line of credit from Prime Corporate Services. So what I'm trying to do with this community is show you how I did this by building a business line of credit over the next six months together. So I didn't use, so there's people in here that go, I don't have $24,000 because that's your mindset. Your mindset is I can only do what I have with my existing resources. Guys, there are a lot of people out there making a lot of money with other people's money. Stop with the limited mindset. I'm trying to teach you guys how to build corporate credit to go out and do loans like this. So how much money did I make? By the way, this just happened. Okay. This just happened. I, I didn't make five grand. I made four grand, but I made the four grand. Literally, I wired the money in the morning and I got the money back that same exact day. And I made $4,000 in less than 12 hours on a line of credit. 
So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach you guys, number one, I'm trying to give you guys the paperwork. I'm, I'm First and foremost, I'm trying to give you guys the business strategy that exists. And I've just showed you two of the five today. Just showed you them. I haven't told you where to find the, I haven't given you the paperwork. I haven't given you where to find these opportunities. I haven't shown you how to fill out the paperwork. I haven't filled, showed you how to do the tr conversations, any of that stuff, none of it. So the people who have taken action on prime corporate services, by the way, if you guys are trying to get into the Gator, I am only going to train people. It's like, I, I, like I said earlier on a Facebook Live. If I go to a mechanic, and I say, hey, will you teach me how to fix a car? And the mechanic says, yeah, Pace, what, what car do you have? And I go, I don't have a car. What are, what? So here I am trying to teach you guys how to build a lending business, but you guys don't have a line of credit. You guys are trying to use your own cash. Guys, I'm not trying to teach you how to use your own cash. That's not what I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach you guys how to build corporate credit so that you guys can get to a point where you have what I have. Access to over a million dollars. I can fund deals in two minutes because I have lines of credit that Prime Corporate Services has helped me build. So here's what I'm doing for the action takers. What I'm going to be doing is for the next six months, I'll be doing one to two Zooms a month where I will be teaching not just the paperwork, I will be teaching you guys the strategies, where to find these people, how to talk to them, how to do all the things. And I'm not charging you for it. I'm not, how much am I charging for it, guys? Am I charging any money for this? So this is where I get terse and I get frustrated when people give me any guff, any negativity, because I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't need to do this. I'll just only do this for my sub two students. Okay. I'm going to do it for six months. I don't know what days of the month I will do it when I have time. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be teaching and we're going to be getting you guys into a, anybody that has gone to primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace, forward slash ABC, whatever code you've used, anybody that's used a code of ours, primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or forward slash ABC, whatever it is that you used, I don't care. We will get you in there. I don't care if you guys signed up with, somebody DM me this morning, go, hey, I signed up under Ryan Zolan. Great, have Ryan Zolan teach you. I don't, I don't have access to Prime Corporate Services and Ryan Zolan's people. However, Prime Corporate Services will email my people for me, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is for the next six months, I'm going to be teaching you guys all the five strategies, giving you the paperwork and listen to me. I'm going to give you guys, everybody that's already taken action and is going to take action. I'm going to give you guys a major, 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 major bonus today. Okay. So check this out. I wonder if Chris Richardson is in here. The guy that gave me a hard time. He is not in here. He gave me a hard time. All right. So here, let me ask, let me ask you guys a question. If I just did this training where I taught you guys how to use your lines of credit, how to insert yourself in deals, how to gain equity, by the way, I'm gaining equity on a deal. Check this out. I'm gaining 50% equity on a deal. Um, this coming week, somebody else found the deal. They're going to turn it into an Airbnb and they're like, I need, I need $22,000. It's a seller finance deal. It's one of my students. They need $22,000 to turn this into an Airbnb. It's a 0% seller finance deal. And they're like, I need 22 grand to make this deal work. Can you be my lender? I go, I'll be your partner. You give me 50% equity and I'll be your, your lender. I took 50% ownership of a deal, 50% ownership of a deal because somebody need the capital. And where am I going to pull the $22,000 from? I'm pulling my $22,000 from a line of credit. It's not my money. I will be teaching you guys all of that stuff through the Gator training. And there's only two people that will have access to this going forward. Literally today, I'm, it will be probably, here's where, here's where I'm going to shut it down. June 1st, I'm not letting any non-sub-2 student into the Gator community. If you are a non-sub-2 student, you are not allowed to be in the Gator community. I'm shutting the doors and here's the reason why. I have to move these conversations forward. I have to get into conversations where I cold call private money lenders. I show you guys how to use the things. I show you the paperwork. I show you all of those things. I will close the door. So if you are not a prime corporate services, no, Cindy, she says Astro student. No, absolutely not. You're not my student. No. 
you are either a prime corporate services client or you're a sub two student. That is it. I don't care if you're my mom, my grandma. I don't care if you're my wife, Laura, and you call me, you go, hey, can I get into the Gator? No, I have to move these conversations forward. I have to be able to advance the education. I have to. Yeah, Robert Beck, come on, dude, your mom. Yeah, I could give a crap about my mom when it comes to Gator lending. Literally, I have to move this forward. Okay, I have to move this forward. Can everybody say, I agree? We are. I, I don't wanna educate people on what Gator lending is anymore. I don't wanna give you a brief overview of it. I literally just wanna teach you guys how to use it. I wanna teach you guys how to make money. I've got so many people that are like, Pace, I've got these opportunities. I need the paperwork, I need to protect myself. And I'm sitting here struggling with questions like, can I join tomorrow? Guys, primecorporateservices.com forward slash Pace. Get on the phone with Prime. If you guys are going to build a line of credit, then you can, learn, you can um, utilize the training. That's it. I'm not going to teach you on something that you can't take action on. It doesn't make sense because here's what happens. I get deep into the training and then I, I'm, I'm sidewind by a question that was answered literally three months ago because I didn't close the door and I didn't force people to take action through the process. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a Discord channel. Okay. Everybody that is a prime corporate service um, client, either primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or ABC, whatever you choose to do. Um, you will get access to a Discord channel so that I don't have to hear from anybody ever again that they didn't get the email. I can't manage your inbox. I can't manage your spam. I can't manage your 7,000 emails you haven't read because you won't unsubscribe from Pottery Barn and Victoria's Secret. I can't control that. <laughs> You're killing me. And by the way, here we go. Cindy just says, by the way, PCS is awesome. Here's the thing, guys. Prime Corporate Services in the last three weeks, for people that don't know this, how much money has PCS acquired people in lines of credit in just the last three weeks? $900,000 in the last three weeks. That's it. Okay. By the end of the Gator training, in six months, whenever it is, whenever I decide to do it, whenever I decide for it to be over, I'm sure that that will be over 10, 15, 20 million dollars in lines of credit. Insane, insane what we're gonna do. It is insane what we're gonna do, but I'm closing it down. I cannot handle ans answering questions on YouTube or any of that stuff about this topic because I have literally not even touched the surface on what I need to teach you guys. I've only reviewed what the opportunity is okay so a couple things i need to call molly but because for some reason when um, sean st Clair sends me emails i can't get the attachment so hold on just a second i need to call molly my ops manager 7 30 in the morning on sunday but I know. Hey, um, I can't open the, any of Sean St. Clair's attachments. Can you um, send me the attachments for the documents to my email? Thank you. How are you getting those? And I don't, I, I see them, but I can't open them. What, 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 do, what do you have some special? Damn, that's so weird. It, you got a Windows computer? Okay. Send, the, send those over to me, please. Thank you. All right, guys, Mo shout out Molly, by the way, answering me on 7.30 at Sunday morning. That's pretty awesome. Got a good operations manager that is so freaking dope. Okay, cool. So here we go, guys. Um, I'm going to give you guys a couple of things. Here's the, here's the gifts I'm going to be giving you. Um, every, who took action with Prime Corporate Services? Say me in the side, ch side chat. Who took action? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you guys a question. It's one thing for me to teach you guys, here's the paperwork, here's the strategy, here's where to find the opportunities, here to kind of, here's how to protect yourself, answer some Q&A, all that kind of stuff. Can you guys see that that's hugely valuable? And will, that, will you be so grateful that I did that for you? Okay, here's the other thing. If I brought in my transaction coordinator, Allison Gustafson, 
And I had her show you guys how we're doing the paperwork. And I had her actually answer questions for you guys on maybe every couple of weeks. Would that add another layer of value that you would be like, holy freaking crap. Okay. Here's the, here's a couple of things I'm, I'm going to do. I, because in my sub two community, I swear to you, it's a different type of person that's inside of sub two. It's like the most grateful, biggest go-givers on planet earth. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm forewarning you. If you are in the Gator tribe and you are not a sub two student, if I see a complaint, I see negativity, you're gone. You're finito. You're done. You're out. Bye. I don't, my sub two students don't act like that. For some reason, the, the, the people out there in the free world, I'm, when I provide value, I don't, attract non, I don't attract negative people to sub two. We have positive, loving human beings inside of sub two. I will vaporize you if you are negative in my, in my Gator community, okay? So Jonathan Sylvian says, how do we join the Gator tribe? I'm gonna tell you guys one more time. How do we join the Gator tribe? Go to primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or ABC, whatever the link is, primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace. Sign up, get corporate credit with Prime Corporate Services. You will be allowed to come in to a tribe where I teach you how to use corporate credit. And I teach you how to find the opportunities to lend. And I teach you guys how to use, utilize the paperwork. I te teach you how to uh, protect yourself. I do Q&A. Now, if you are a sub two student, and you're like, oh man, I don't have the money for corporate credit. Here's the value I always bring to my sub two community. After June 1st, I will not be allowing anybody else into the Gator community. Nobody else. Unless you are a sub two student. Listen to me. After June 1st, I'm not letting a single person into to the Gator community unless you are a sub two student. Are you, are we on the same page? Is everybody aware of this? I don't care who you are. If you're watching this on YouTube in three months, four months, five months, and you say, how do I join the Gator training? I'm only allowing sub two students in that. Now, a couple of things. For my sub two students that are like, why is Pace letting, um, why is Pace creating a Gator tribe when he already has a sub two community? Does anybody wanna know that answer? First and foremost, because I freaking can, and I freaking want to. The second reason for anybody has that limited mindset type of question, which I doubt any of my sub two students ever do, but for the second, the second reason is because I will create more lenders for my sub two students. I will create more lenders for my sub two students. Everything I have, everything I do is thought out and planned. It creates way more lenders for my sub two community. And here's what's cool, is my sub two community learns how to get sub two deals, seller finance deals, novation agreements, wholesale deals, um, fix and flip opportunities, right? And by me building a group of lenders over here on the Gator tribe, I have now allowed the Gator lenders to bring money to my students. No. If you are a Gator lender, you don't need to, if you've taken action with primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or forward slash ABC, and you have access to the live training, I will give you access to my sub two students deals. I'm not gonna teach you creative finance. I'm not gonna teach you sub two. I'm not gonna give you my documents. I'm not gonna teach you anything about creative finance. I'm not even gonna teach you anything about wholesale. I'm gonna teach you how to be a Gator lender and I'm going to teach you how to lend money to my students. Do you see the value in what I'm trying to do? Okay. Are we all on the same page, everybody? All right. Now, for people who are in there, um, here we go, escrow instructions, earnest money, okay. So if you still have questions about what Gator Lending is, where do you go? Where do we go, guys? We go to my, my YouTube channel and we go watch these things, okay? I'm gonna move on after I say this one last time. Go watch my four hours of raising private capital. It's on my YouTube channel, okay? 
go watch that first. Go then watch the Gator 1.0. Then go watch Gator 2.0. Then if you're seeing this for the first time, this is Gator 3.0. You don't want to be watching this video first. You want to go back and watch the four hours of raising private capital. Then go watch Gator 1.0. Then go watch Gator 2.0. Then go watch this one next. Okay. Today, I'm going to be giving away the new wholesale contract that I spent about $3,200 on. You guys can see these contracts that I just received today. They are in Word, they are editable. You can edit them to your own individual state. Somebody in five minutes will ask that knucklehead question. Wait, this, is Arizona, this says Arizona on it. Can I edit it to my own state? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Then for the people who are taking action, I am going to give you guys the protection paperwork. I'm going to teach you guys how to do the lending documents. Okay. You have to make the decision. Either way, I'm giving you value. Okay. Either way, I'm giving you value. Even if you have not joined the Gator community, I'm going to give you guys a new wholesale contract. If you have not joined the Gator community, you still get $3,200 of value plus. Marcus says, can I leave, watch your YouTube videos and come back to this? Absolutely, Marcus, 100%. Okay. Thank you for that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. So let's see here. Forum wholesale purchase contract. This is the purchase contract I want to walk through with you guys today. This is the one I'm giving to you guys. All right, perfect. New. This is fresh, boy. This is, in my opinion, the greatest wholesale contract that has ever been created. Any wholesale contract, I will never, by the way, I will never give the free group. I will never give my YouTube channel. I will never, ever, ever, ever give away my creative finance documents. That is for sub two students only. Um, this document is literally the greatest wholesale contract there is. I have other people, other influencers that are giving away contracts out on YouTube. And you know, you guys have all been part of that. Like, hey, for da free download, my free contract. They all wish they had this contract. And I want the world to have this contract. Okay. The reason why I want this world, the world to have this contract is pay attention. Why am I giving away this contract? I'm giving this contract away because when a gator wants to lend money to you, I want to make sure that you are using this contract. And if you are a Gator, I want you to make sure your wholesaler is using this contract as well. Are we all on the same page? This contract will protect you. And there's a couple of ways it will protect you as the wholesaler and as the lender. Okay. First way it's going to protect you is that, did you guys know that in the state of Arizona, if I open up a real estate transaction, right? So I get a contract with a seller and it says, I'm going to buy their house for $100,000 and I'm putting a $1,000 earnest money down. And I start that transaction. The title company starts working on the paperwork. I got 10 days of an inspection period. In the state of Arizona, if I cancel at any time during my 10 day inspection period, any time during my 10 day inspection period, do I get my earnest money back? The answer is yes. In the state of Arizona, I get my earnest money back. Do I need the seller's permission for the title company to release my $1,000 back to me? I do not. In the state of Florida, if I go do the same exact transaction, okay, in the state of, Ari state of California, I'm sorry, Florida, Utah, Texas, a couple of others as well, the seller has to give me permission to get my earnest money back or they have to sign off. It's called mutual release. Both parties, seller and the buyer, have to release that earnest money back to me. Does that make sense, everybody? Do we understand that? So if I'm a Gator lender and I'm going to lend $1,000 to a wholesaler for their earnest money, which happens all the time, 85 plus percent of wholesalers don't have any money to put in earnest money, especially if they have three, four, or five contracts going on at the same time. Sean Han says, same thing with Alabama. Okay. So what do I do? <coughs> I go and pay my attorney to redraft a document that gets, gets rid of that issue. This contract gets rid of that issue where your contract it doesn't matter what the state law is. Your seller is going to sign off on not requiring a mutual release. Does everybody understand how freaking cool that is? It is worth so much effing money for you to have this doc document. Okay, so 
really basic, right? Here's the property address, boom, 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 the APN, that's super easy, legal description, blah, blah, blah. Earnest money or the deposit, sorry guys, I'm in Word. So here's the earnest money. This is how much your wholesaler, if you are a lender, your wholesaler is gonna be needing to borrow this much money because they don't have it. Here's the purchase price, close of escrow date, really basic. You can see, okay, you can see that in this contract, this first page is very basic. It's very basic, just, you know, what am I buying it for? What's the address? How much is the earnest money? Who's the title company or the escrow agent that we're utilizing? Okay, pretty basic stuff. Okay, then it talks about how long is my inspection period? So this is important for you as a lender, right? A Gator lender, you wanna know exactly how many days you have, okay? Then um, escrow fees, okay? This is interesting. Usually the buyer pays all the closing fees, but we always leave this real long thing in here for a negotiating strategy. I'll teach you guys about that another day. And then here's the additional terms and conditions. Purchase and sell price for the purchase price in accordance with the da, 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 da. Great, status of title. As soon as the practical following an effective date, that's not important. Okay, here we go. Boom, number five. Instruction to release the deposit upon cancellation during the inspection period. This gets rid of your state's requirement of a seller's mutual release. This one sentence, this one paragraph, okay? Seller hereby irrevocably instructs escrow agent to return the deposit to buyer or to any person or entity, that would be you as a lender, designated by buyer to receive the deposit if the buyer elects to cancel this contract during the inspection period. If buyer elects to cancel the period and no further written instructions are required for escrow agent to release the deposit to the buyer or any person or entity designated by the buyer to receive the deposit, seller hereby waives any rights under state or any other law to object the release of deposit if this contract is canceled by the buyer during the inspection period and waives any right to provide any additional written consent to release of the deposit if this contract is canceled by the buyer. Guys, written by my attorney, this one paragraph is worth thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with or without your need to have a Gator lender. Okay? Now, these are all other stupid things. Who cares about them? Okay? All these things don't matter. This one, okay. There it is, right here. Memorandum of contract. Here's the other thing that's very, very, very important. Joel, I thought I kicked your ass out of here. How did, how did Joel get back in here? Bye. I actually like Joel, but he was making political, negative political comments at the very beginning of the Zoom. I, I'm, I don't have time for that crap. Do not make negative polit political comments in my Zooms. Go away. I don't care about politics. I don't care about religion. I care about making money with everybody. Black, white, Indian, Asian, woman, male, whatever your gender, I don't care. I just wanna make freaking money. And I want you guys to make money too. If you come in here and you have negativity about politics or religion, go somewhere else. Not about that life. This memorandum of contract is incredibly important as well. Most wholesale contracts in the nation do not have this. It is important that your the person that you are lending, if you are a gator, it is important for your um, borrower to utilize. Do you guys see why? So anybody that is a gator, you've already taken action. Do you see why I want to give this contract away? Do you guys see why I want to give this to even people who are not in the gator community and the sub two community? I want to make sure. I wanna make sure that everybody has this contract so that if you are going to lend or you are going to borrow, you are both protected. This alone cost me $3,200 in um, sitting down with my attorney, going through, revising, revising, revising to make sure that this is as good as, it, as it's going to currently get. Now, here's what's cool. And now my sub two students already know this about me. 
is that every time I revise my documents and it costs me $7,000 or $10,000, whatever it costs, I always provide those new updated documents a year later, two years later, three years later, five years later, whatever. So this contract will protect all the gators if the wholesalers are using it. Now, if you're a wholesaler out there, do you think this is a smart contract for you to utilize? Darren Talcott, always with the technical questions. Um, let's, let's get to Darren. He's super smart. Let's ask Darren this question. Darren, what's your question? I'm sorry, brother. Hi, Pace. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you great. Great. Sorry, I didn't turn on my video. I've been sick since getting back from Clever Summit. But oh, yeah. A lot of people got that Clever flu or that Clever COVID. A lot of people got it. Had a land deal last year where it fell apart at the, at the uh, 12th hour on closing mm -hmm. date, basically. And yep. the even though our paperwork said that the uh, EMD funds go back to us in the contract, yep. they would, the title company wouldn't release the funds without a mutually signed letter of uh, release. And it took us a couple months to, to get that done. Uh, so would it be a best practice in the beginning, especially if you're lending on this? To so, so Darren, here's what's great about this. So as a Gator lender, there's four other documents you saw in that email that I showed you guys just recently, right? Yeah. Okay. There is a set of escrow instructions that requires your title and escrow company to sign off on that they understand that there is no need for a mutual consent. Great. Does that make sense? I will yeah. be giving that to all the Gator lenders. Does that make sense? Perfect. Okay. So yep. your contract state your contract states it, but then on top of that, the lender, I'm going to go through the process when you're in the lend in the private Gator tribe. I'm going to teach you guys how to talk to the escrow agents. I'm going to bring Allison Gustafson, my transaction uh, coordinator in there. She's going to teach you how to talk to the title companies and how to walk through the process and get them to sign the document acknowledging during the inspection period. And before you wire your money as the Gator lender, that the title and escrow company acknowledge in the escrow instructions that they have read the purchase contract and they hereby also and understand that your money will be refunded back to you. Perfect. And cool. if the, uh, if the uh, wholesaler didn't use your paperwork, but still then don't lend to them. Don't lend. Mean, this is, hell no. Do not lend to them because they're using some free downloaded wholesale contract off somebody's YouTube or somebody's bullshit website. They're using a horrible contract. Okay. I'm hoping to actually utilize, to create a whole, a standardized wholesale contract by having everybody out there working on this contract and we'll update it. We'll continually update it. When somebody's like, Hey, I ran into an issue. We'll update it. I'll pay my attorney to update it. I want everybody to have access to the Dropbox link. Okay. So, um, we will update it as we run into new issues or new things. And that's kind of the cool thing about a community is that people kind of collectively come in and go, Hey, I had these issues or, Hey, I ran into this. Can you help me out with this? And blah, 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 blah. Right. So, um, if somebody's using their own contract, here's one of the other things I've given you. Okay. I will give to the lenders. You as a lender will have your wholesaler have to get your sell their seller to sign an addendum. And I'm giving that document to you guys as well. Does that make sense, Darren? That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Of course. I, I, did you watch the uh, contract or did you watch the Sean St. Clair Zoom? I know that I do a lot of content. I totally get that it's probably. Absolutely. I went through that and uh, it was so great. Do you remember me talking about the escrow instructions and making sure? Here's the escrow instructions right here. Assignment of earnest money deposit and irrevocable escrow instructions. Here it is right here. Um, this is the document I will be giving to lenders. So I just popped it up for a second. I will be giving that to you as a lender. So if your wholesaler does not use the standardized Gator wholesale contract that protects both the wholesaler and the Gator, you as the wholesale or you as the Gator lender need to go into that wholesale and go, Hey, I'm happy to loan the thousand dollars to you or the $5,000 to you or the $10,000 to you, whatever it is, but you got to get your seller to sign this addendum or else we don't have a deal. Right. We've been, uh, my brother and I, we've been eager to get this going, take an action with PCS, but we wanted to make sure that uh, we were in lockstep with the paperwork and, and everything so we're protected. Absolutely. I, I appreciate that. And you see how hard it is for me where like Darren, somebody who's been in my world for a long time, you provide a lot of value to a lot of people. And um, 
I want to, I want to move forward with the training. You see how challenging it is for me where I'm like, I want to actually train and show people where to find these opportunities and walk through the paperwork. But I still get people that are like, I literally found out about you three days ago. You know, so I've got, I'm trying to balance that and I appreciate your, um, your patience in that. So this week, Jamil and I are traveling around the country. We're going to Boise on Monday. Um, and then on Tuesday, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be releasing all the paperwork to all the Gators on Tuesday um, in a mass email through a drop, Dropbox link. Today, I'm just going to give away the wholesale contract for everybody. Okay, I'm going to put it in the YouTube comments. I'm going to put it in the Zoom comments. You guys will all have that contract. Okay, um, then I'm going to be in, that'll happen on Tuesday. I'm going to put together an email for all Gators to have all the paperwork so you guys can review it. And then we'll do another Gator training at some point, probably next weekend. Probably. Let me say that one more time. Probably next weekend to actually walk through the paperwork. I just am so busy. And um, I will give you guys the paperwork to read through and create and compile questions. And Darren, you can probably come into like our Tuesday Zoom on in sub two and ask me questions about the, about the paperwork if you need to. But a dedicated, um, and that's kind of the benefit of other sub two students is that I've already, I've been teaching Gator lending to sub two for a year. I, I did a six part series about raising private capital and ri pr private money and all that kind of stuff. I did that already. I do it all the time. In fact, two weeks ago, somebody came in and asked me a question about Gator lending in one of our sub two Zooms. And I answered it for two and a half hours, one question, two and a half hours. So as a sub two student, you'll get, you'll get additional access to more Q and A and all that kind of stuff. Of course, like I did three Q and A's this week. I did one on Tuesday. I did one on Thursday, I did one on Friday. And here I am on Sunday doing another thing. So um, if you have questions about the paperwork, Darren, that I release on Tuesday to all Gators who have taken action with primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or primecorporateservices.com forward slash ABC, whatever it is, um, I will be releasing all of the paperwork to you guys. By the way, Darren, let me be very specific. There's five strategies I'm going to be teaching you guys, right? Okay. The paperwork I'm releasing is only the paperwork for strategy number one. Gotcha. Does that make sense? I've got four other strategies I'm going to deep dive, teach on, <coughs> show you guys where the opportunities come from, but I'm still drafting all the paperwork to be universal for all you Gator lenders. Okay. Great. If it would add value, I can turn them into fillable PDFs like I've done with uh, a lot of the other paperwork. That I think that would provide a lot of value to a lot of people, and I would appreciate you doing that. Done. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, brother. So, um, guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw this document on Dropbox, and what I want to do is you guys all get this. So please look in the side chat here in about two minutes. I am going to go into Pace Method. Let me create some Gator Docs. All right, new folder. All right, hold on just a second, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do a couple of things for you guys. Darren, always with the good questions. Thank you, Darren. All right, here we go. So check this out, guys. I've got my, this is an empty folder right now. I, I call it, it's inside of my Gator Docs document. My wholesale contract with EMD and memorandum is the specific type of document. I am dropping this contract in here. It is currently uploading and I will share this with you guys right now. Um, there it is. So what's gonna happen is somebody will say, I'm sorry, but I don't know where the link is. Watch me do this. It is so interesting how hard it is for me to do this. I'm copying the link and I'm posting it right now in the side chat. Do yourself a favor and copy and copy it right there. It's a long dot. It's a long link. You guys see that? Somebody will go, where's the link? Copy, 
the link, share it with people, please. I want this to be a universal document. Anytime that we update this document, guys, I'm going to delete this document and put a new one in this folder. So what I'm sharing with you is actually the folder. Okay, I'm sharing the folder with you. I'm not sharing the actual, I'm sharing the whole folder. So anything I put in this folder, any updates, I will be giving that to you guys. How much did this cost me to draft this one document? And how much did you guys pay me for this? Okay. So let me run over to YouTube real fast and put this in the YouTube comments for people. There's people in there right now. They're like, where, what about us? What about us? Good thing about YouTube though, in the YouTube comments is that I can actually pin the doc. I can pin it, which is cool. Oh crap. It's short. Hold on a sec, guys. I gotta, I gotta shorten the, I gotta shorten the link. Hold on a second. YouTube won't let me. YouTube won't let me share it because the link is so long. So let me create a shorter um, link for you guys. Give me just a second. Sorry, everybody. I wish it was easy. Sometimes it just takes time. We do it on the fly, right? All right. Let me go in here and edit this link. You add a block. There's the URL. Um, wholesale contract, EMD, and memo random. I'm just going to put mem some. Actually, I have to put memorandum because somebody will say, "Why does it say memo?" And they'll lose their freaking mind over it. Oh, that's old. I should probably change that and just delete that, right? Oh my gosh. Delete that bad boy. Okay, so here's the wholesale and memorandum contract. Publish this. And let me click the copy. Okay, here we go, YouTube. Sorry, guys. I know it's a little challenging. I apologize. YouTube wouldn't let me put the whole link in there. So I apologize. There we go. There's the link. Just put it in there. Boom. That link is, will give you access to like my whole Shorby link, guys. So there, people will get confused. They'll go, wait, this goes to a Shorby link. Yeah, guys, it goes here. I'm sorry. I had to create a, a little button for you guys. So if you click on this, it will take you to the link. Okay. I'm very sorry, but that's sometimes what you got to do. And that this is, these are the things that confuse people is that we do things and I got to explain 85 different things because it's so hard for people. So there's the link. Okay. There's the link. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So. For the action takers, people that are um, in the Gator community, for your patience, okay? Th let me thank you guys for your patience, first and foremost. I know you guys have taken action. I know it's really challenging because here I am, I'm a lifeguard. I'm trying to provide value to everybody. And I'm looking out in the ocean at two people drowning. One person's trying hard to help me do my job and the other people are swimming away. Like, where's the link? I don't know how to find this. My email, it went to my spam. Please fly to my house and teach me how to use my email whatever it is, right? Whatever the issue is, you, people are swimming away from me. And I, as the lifeguard, have a responsibility. I look at both people, I'm like, how can I save both people? And so I'm really trying hard to save both people. And I appreciate you guys being patient. I appreciate you guys being part of being a go-giving community and understanding how hard I'm working. Like my wife FaceTime me and is like, where are you? I'm down here working for thousands of people. And my wife, you know, I'm down here. I could be upstairs hanging out with my babies right? On a Sunday morning, I should have a day off. So if you have not signed up for Prime Corporate Services, you will not have access to the future trainings live. If, let me say that to you again. 
if you want to be in the Discord channel and you want to have access to the live trainings with my, um, with me and the additional documents and all of that kind of stuff, you have to be a corporate credit client. It doesn't make sense for me to teach you about things that you are not able to or willing to take action on. It does not make sense. It is crazy to me. It is not, it does not allow people, if you have already taken action, okay, have you, if you have not, are, if you have taken action and you're now seeing Gator lending 3.0 and you're like, man, this is amazing. Pace gave us a 3,200 wholesale contract. I'm super grateful for it. However, I really want to move forward with this training. Say me, if you feel that way, you're grateful, but you also want to move forward with the training. So guys, you see how many people have already taken action and they, they came in here to try and learn thousands, like literally look at me, 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 hundreds, 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 and hundreds of people. So if you have not taken action, do not expect to be in the future training. I'm going to give you guys 30 days to get into this. June 1st, doors are shut. June 1st, doors are shut. After June 1st, who are the people that will be able to get into the Gator world? Tell me. Only my sub two students. So if you're a sub two, if you join sub two in two months or three months or four months and you're just seeing this now, you still have the ability to join. If you are not a sub two student, I have no, I, I'm sorry. The answer is no. I already gave you a four hour training, a two hour training, a three hour training, a three hour training, a wholesale. I already gave you literally $100,000 of value. So everybody crystal clear that I have provided more value than you've paid for, spent the time on. I am the person doing the favor here, not the other way around. I know I, it sounds horrible that I have to do this. It sounds, it makes me say things I don't want to say, and it makes me act a way that I don't want to act, but I have to get people to take action. I, I, I have a, a, like a muscle in my back that stresses me out when people aren't taking action. Um, all right, cool. So Mike says, Pace, don't you think having the title company on board is important to a smooth deal, even with good documents? Mike, I, I, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I feel like I really explained this properly. Um, so let's, let's make sure that Mike, you and I are on the same page here. I think you missed something very valuable, but you must've sneezed or something. Mike, how you doing? I'm good pace. So Mike, did you miss the part? Did you sneeze or maybe go to the bathroom or get a drink where I missed the, where you missed the part where I said, my transaction coordinator, Allison Gustafson will show you how we talk to the title company and how we have them sign a document stating that they're on board. Did you miss that part? No, not at all. In fact, I think that was my takeaway was that oh well I mean, having maybe the, I misunderstand having the, what you're saying having the title company on board it seems to be important it's with critical that up upfront contract sort of with them. it's critical I I guess yeah. I miss I guess I missed I misunderstood what you were saying you were, it says pace don't you think having the title company on board is important to a smooth deal even with good documents I'm, I'm all right sure. I shouldn't I shouldn't have softened it I should have said pace having the title company yeah, yeah, yeah. on board okay. is critical. Got it. I'm like, what? I, I swear we covered this. Yeah. So um, that's where I think the additional value of me bringing my transaction coordinator, something I wasn't planning on, nothing I ever promised anybody. Thank you for the, thank you for that statement, Mike, because this helps hammer that home really well. 100% having the title company on board and how to talk to them, making sure they understand, having them confirm in writing, whether it's email or even signing a document, stating they understand the process and what you're planning on doing is absolutely 100% a requirement, not a suggestion. And, you know, for five seconds, why don't you touch on the fact that not all title companies are the same and I don't have no, a shell up here. There, do you, you know, I think it's important to vet those title companies ahead of time. Yeah, and we'll do that. Like I've got, um, the good thing about Sean St. Clair is I'm gonna be spending, you know, $475 an hour for every hour he spends with us but he has a Facebook group that is full of title companies and uh, closing attorneys nationwide that are investor friendly. And so what we'll be doing is helping build that Facebook group. You don't need a, Juan Lopez says, we need a list of title companies. No, you don't. Sean St. Clarity has a Facebook group full of them nationwide. There's not a state he doesn't have a title company or a closing attorney that is willing to do sub two seller finance transactions inside of that Facebook group. And a shout out to that Facebook group. I lost a deal because I trusted a title company that didn't know what they were doing far too long until the deal was too late foreclosure deal and later i saw a title company that would have closed that deal on his list right here in in my town 
Thank I you, lost thank a deal you. simply by not making use of that resource. Super helpful for you to bring that up. And it, it is tough. Like this is the thing, these, these are the pieces of value that people don't even think of. Like they think, oh, cool, another Facebook group. And guys, it's taken Sean St. Clair and then my amplification of that Facebook group over two years to get to a point where it provided value to somebody like Mike. It is tremendous amount of hard work that goes into creating value for you guys. Um, it is, the name of that Facebook group is, um, uh, what is it? Real Estate Investor Legal is the name of that Facebook group. Real Correct. Estate Investor Legal. Um, okay. And here's the thing. You will not find sub two contracts in there, seller finance contracts. You will not find title companies or closing attorneys that will provide those documents for you. You will need to work with existing sub two seller finance um, students of mine to get those. Okay. Uh, John Curtis says, I'm in Facebook jail for another 18 days. Dang, what did you do, bro? Uh, Mike, thank you so much for that. that hey, thanks a lot for that. everything, Pace. Great training. Mike, you, do, you feel my, do you feel my level of patience that I have to exert here? It's actually, if you look carefully, if I zoom in, it's kind of coming out your ears. It's kind yeah, of weird. It, it, a little bit of steam. Coming out. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of gross. It is. Mark you see up. why I have to close it down too, right? Because it's like, instead of, and my sub two students see this, like when I do a dedicated training on lease options or wraps or sub two, seller finance, novation agreements, we can spend two hours talking about a very specific topic. And if somebody comes into that Zoom and says, hey, I have a question about something unrelated, I go, hey, go watch that Zoom and then come back. But when we're doing it to the free group, it's really challenging and it's hard to like herd all the kittens. And that's why I have to close it out. And so guys, thank you so much for being patient, especially for the people who took action today. Did we all get value today? I know I rehearsed a lot of things, but we at least got the wholesale contract that's worth $3,200. We can all walk away from this Zoom today saying, I won. I got value. And also for the people who are going to be future lenders, how valuable is it to, for us to give all the wholesale community this contract to make sure that all Gator lenders are protected? Do you guys see how valuable that is? Instead of me just giving that to just the Gator lenders, we want to give that to the wholesalers and the investors up front. So when they come and ask for a loan, even double close or, you know, fund this or fund that for me, we want to make sure that they're using the proper paperwork up front because that's the foundation of the transaction is the contract with the seller and the wholesaler. So that you guys, when it comes to you as a lender, you have a lot less to worry about. You still have to do a lot of things that Mike and I were just talking about where you have to work with the title and escrow company. You have to make sure that they read the document, they acknowledge it in writing. You have to do all of that kind of stuff. And we're going to train you on that in the future. But I gave you the foundational uh, elements of that today. Okay. Does everybody have the link? Give me a yes if you guys have the link for the um, document. Okay. Now for future, let me ask you guys a couple of things just to, just to test you. For future trainings, and future documents, who has access to those? Okay, after June 1st, only sub two students are gonna be able to be in the Gator Tribe, okay? Um, and only the action takers who are, ac they actually have lines of credit and they're working with Prime Corporate Services. I, again, I like Ryan Zolan, but I don't have access to Ryan Zolan's information with Prime Corporate Services. You guys use Ryan, Ryan Zolan's link, heaven bless you. Okay. If you did not use primecorporateservices.com forward slash pace or forward slash ABC, we changed the link to ABC at one point just to be like, hey, this is super easy. Um, please understand you are the people that will get access to the live training. You'll have Allison Gustafson, all that kind of stuff that you'll have access to. We are teaching you guys how to build corporate credit and we're teaching you guys how to go out and become lenders. So if you are not, um, if you are not, um, trying to do that, then why do you want to be part of the live trainings? Okay. So only the live training, um, will be available to the prime corporate services, um, corporate credit clients. I've said this three times now, the future trainings will be released probably a month. And I'm saying probably because somebody will get upset, but probably a month after I do the live training, I'll release it to all my sub two students, because that's what I promised my, I promised my sub two community that for as long as I live, I will provide so much value to them um, long term that unfortunately they won't have access to the live trainings if they're not taking action because I can't have people in those Zooms 
asking questions if they have not taken action. I'm trying to close the gate on only action takers, okay? I, today, I probably will die of a heart attack, to be honest. Joshua Smith says, how do people get upset about free shit? Because they're entitled. They're entitled and they're, um, I don't know, man. I, 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 when I'm around them and I hear them, I immediately block them out of my world. I don't spend time with them. I get text messages from people that are like, hey, where's, I go, I'm immediately blocking you and I'm not even replying to you. I need to like keep my peace. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, everybody get value today. Everybody feel good. If you have not taken action, where do I take action? How do I take action to get into the future training? PrimeCorpusServices.com forward slash pace or PrimeCorpusServices.com forward slash ABC. I don't care which one you use. Use one of those links. We will be sending out, um, everybody has the document. Everybody, 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 everybody has the document. Please say yes in the side chat. Everybody give me a yes. Thousand people are in here, by the way. I'm giving it to you again. Thank you again. Thank you again. Awesome. Now, help me out, guys. If people are like, I didn't get the contract, please share it with everybody. Okay. Now, on Tuesday, everybody that has taken action, I'm going to give, I'm going to have PCS send an email to everybody. Okay. I'm going to have PCS send an email out to everybody that is on the PACE link, the PCS link, the zero to hero link, whatever link it is that you used that we can track back to my people. We will have PCS send everybody an email on Tuesday. You can review the documents. And when I get back from my trip in Boise, Austin, Houston, Dallas, who's coming to those meetups, by the way, Boise, Austin, Houston, Dallas, we're doing next week. Who's coming next week? Amazing, 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 amazing. Yeah, uh, T Tim Holland, PCS will include the contract we gave today and all the documents for the Gator lenders, okay? For this, remember, there's five strategies I'm going to teach. I haven't even touched base on really three of them, okay? Wow, Steven says, I canceled my DC tri tri trip. That's amazing. Lewis says, do you need to come out here to Florida? Bro, we spent three weeks in Florida a couple months ago. Where is the Dallas meetup? All right, guys, let me give you the link for the meetup just real quick. And I'll pull it up online. You guys can see it. Oh, this is dope. They like updated the pet website and everything. So check this out, guys. Um, RSVP right here. You can RSVP on this page. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't matter if you're a student, a non-student, any of that. You guys can come to this meetup. We're going to be in Boise on Monday. Okay. We're going to be in Houston on Wednesday, Austin on Thursday, and then Dallas on Friday. So RSVP on these. Um, Rahima, Jamil, and myself will be there. Let me give you guys the link in the side chat. Okay, make sure you RSVP. I don't care if you're a sub two student, an astro student, a TTP student, I don't care who you are, you will have access to that, okay? And we'd love to meet with you guys. I love looking at people in the eyes and hearing what your challenges are, what your struggles are in real estate, having conversations about it. We are actually going to teach. Usually we don't teach at these things, okay? Um, Usually we just kind of meet and greet, but I, Jamil and I are actually going to give you guys some education and teach you guys a little bit of stuff. So I'm, I just put this in the YouTube channel as well. There's 734 people watching over there. So um, we'll see you guys um, in Boise, hopefully. And we will also see you guys in Austin, Houston, and Dallas. All right. So a couple of people have their hands raised. So let me answer a couple of questions um, real quick. I'll go fast. I'm going to, I'm going to be done here in 10 minutes. Okay. Angie, how you doing? Angie? Five, four, three, two, one. Um, Marco, I see you, your camera's on, so I'm gonna call on you. What up, Marco, how you doing? I can't hear you. Oh, there we go. There it is. What's up, dog, how you doing? How's it going, my man? Doing great, doing great. Thanks so much Perfect. for having me on here and doing the Zoom. 
Uh, I complete, completely feel your the heat from your end. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, thank, I appreciate that you saying that because I don't want to be, I don't want to come off as a jerk, but I do want to make sure I give everybody no, no, as many you have opportunities. every right to, to stand where you stand, Pace. I completely side with you on everything. Um, thank you, brother. I also want to congratulate Darren. I didn't know he was in here, but uh, I've been kind of waiting on him for, uh, he, he ended up uh, winning a giveaway from me not too long ago for a, uh, a whole uh, branding of a logo for his company. I think he's waiting on the PCS thing, um, but I'm glad he's actually doing it because um, I can't wait to help him uh, lift that, that brand and, and take off with it. I love uh, it. Very cool. But uh, what I wanted to ask you was, so for the um, for the the contracts themselves, the the, the wholesale one, and and of course the, the other contracts. Um, I know you said there's uh, a uh, the uh, the ten day period or fifteen day periods for some um, um, deals, but when it comes to almost at the end, right? When you have those situations where the deal falls apart right at the end, the inspection period has already gone by. All these other windows have been closed. Um, this is a wonderful question. Yeah, that attachment that you have, that addendum that you were talking yeah. about, is that is that what kind of protects the the lender? Maybe at the end there about yep. maybe having his money back where nope, it's not no, going no. Here, Here's what happens is let's say, let's say hypothetically. So here's, you, can you see my screen right now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we got the seller right here. So the seller and the wholesaler enter into an agreement, right? And there's a contract that they're using. And I hope that they use our contract. Otherwise you shouldn't be lending to them. Or if you are lending to them, you should make sure they sign, have the addendum signed on top of that, right? So they then take these documents and they go and they open escrow at the title company, right? So title company is over here and now they have a 10 day or 15 day IP or inspection period, right? So in right. this contract, let's say the wholesaler says, I need a thousand dollars or let's say, let's just say it's a thousand dollars for easy math here. Okay. So the policy yep. and what I'm going to train you on Marco is I'm going to train you to say that whoever the buyer is, because that's essentially what this wholesaler is going to do, right? The wholesaler is going to find a buyer. This wholesaler here needs to go find a buyer. Do we agree with that? Yes. The wholesaler needs to go and ask their buyer to put in 3000 to $5,000 non-refundable money and deposit that in escrow. Gotcha. If they have not done that during the 10 to 15 day inspection period, you need to cancel a day before. Okay. And I have that authority. You have that authority. Yes. Got you. Okay. okay. You, oh, you need see. to cancel and get your money back. Now, if let's say hypothetically, this in this $5,000 does get in deposited within those 10 to five days. And now what happens is the buyer down here, this future buyer decides to cancel, which does happen. The paperwork that I have will state, well, guess what? Guess what the seller gets? The seller gets this thousand dollars because the seller is within their right to get that thousand dollars because somebody did not fulfill their obligation and this whole, the seller gets their thousand dollars, right? So that money is lost. But the great thing is you as the lender get the remaining balance of this right here. So let's say that the buyer puts in $3,000 earnest money. And the seller, the seller's contract is only a thousand dollars earnest money. You are covered, and you actually still made how much money? Two grand. You made a, you doubled your money, so you got your thousand dollars back plus a thousand dollars. Okay, that's awesome. So this is where I'm. This is where I'm going to train you guys to protect yourself, even if this buyer down here doesn't fulfill. You need to either a cancel during the inspection period because you haven't seen the buyer deposit their money or B once the buyer deposits their money, guess what? You get the receipt, you get proof that the money is there. Now you, you, you don't care, right? You don't care if the transaction cancels. You don't care what happens after that, after that point, because your money's covered. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes uh, absolute sense. And that's, I mean, this is amazing. I've been lending for quite a bit pace and my contracts are not they're not protected like like this one. 
um, especially that right there. Like that's, that's gold for me. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's amazing. And so, so that's, that's really what I was, the answer I was looking for. So it really uh, breaks it down. And what I'm going to do is probably have my um, attorney, you know, so that way I'm not taking time as well from, from anybody's time um, to just kind of guide me through the, the wording and everything and make sure that I understand it perfectly. But this is, yeah, this I mean, is I, I'm giving you all the documents. So there's going to be multiple documents. Let me, let me show you where the documents are. So I'm giving you guys this. Oh, document. I, I got them. I, yeah, yeah. You, don't worry. You don't got to repeat yourself with me. <laughs> yeah, oh, cool. So I, I got, I got the con, I got the wholesale contract that you guys are all having access to. This one right here. You guys will get that contract. You guys yep. will also get the addendum contract. You will also get the you and your um, wholesale lend your wholesale borrower. Okay, this borrower right here, and you will also have another contract, a JV contract, talking about your agreement. Okay. You will then have another set of documents that goes to the title company that are escrow instructions. Okay. Oh, that okay. instruct the escrow company on what you're doing and that you're entitled to this buyer's earnest money if the tr transaction cancels, not the wholesaler. So the wholesaler walks away with nothing. Okay. The wholesaler walks away with nothing. You're the one that gets your, your thousand dollars, seller gets their thousand dollars and you get your thousand dollars back plus your return because you loan money and you provided a, a service. Okay. So all of those documents will be provided to all the gators. So you don't need to have your lent, you don't need to have your attorney draft them because I've already spent so far, I've spent close to $7,000 on just this for, set of documents that I'm giving to everybody on Tuesday who is a, an action taker. That's awesome. And so that everybody understands it's in here as well. What, what Pace is really essentially doing here is giving full the, the, the title company access and control of this where neither the, the, the wholesaler or the buyer can go in there and say, hey, I want this back. Only they are the ones that are able to release the thing. So it gives you as a lender confidence and ease of mind that, you know, the transaction is going to work in your favor if it goes, you know, either way <laughs> right. uh, during the inspection. That's, that's amazing. Pace. Amazing. Uh, and Absolutely. thank uh, Sean for, you know, obviously, you know, making these contracts. Um, as well. St. Clair is amazing at what he does. <laughs> He's great. And he understands, you know, he understands. He froze. Am I the only one seeing this or? Oh, he did froze. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did I do something? <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. Man, it must have been bad luck. Golly. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I I promise I I had nothing nothing planned for this. <laughs> Shucks. Pace, come back online, man. I'm gonna get killed by these uh, followers. <laughs> Y'all gonna come after me. I'm in Florida, guys. That's where where I'm at, Florida, Central Florida, to be specific. Mm. 
and take over. <laughs> Nah, I, I can't take over this the zoom <laughs> i'm not equipped um but it is amazing uh what what pace is doing with the with the contract size i mean i lend i've been lending for you know a good amount of years and i can tell you that these contracts i mean they have some really good um exits like you know i've been burned you know i've, I've had to learn the the hard way um and i'm not saying that that's how it's always going to go so you know it's not always like that i mean those are very little uh situations compared to the many successful ones if i may say but um for the most part you know you end up coming out winning um and that's i mean that's the game there's risk to anything that you put your money into especially if if it's in, in real estate there's always going to be some sort of risk but these these contracts i mean i can't say that pace can guarantee they're like a thousand percent bulletproof right you know but he's he's doing something that's amazing amazing guys what to do y'all um paces power went out like the entire house all 11,000 oh so gosh. paces uh done for the day so we appreciate you guys so much um we'll catch you 